right, let's get practicing in QuickBooks Online. Grab the link below in the description so that you can follow along. Here we are in the QBO gym and the QBO gym is a place where we have numerous hands-on exercises that simulate real life scenarios that you may encounter as a bookkeeper. Every month we come out with new exercises and we break it down for even to four different sections. Today we're going to be working in the March year one warm-ups section. At the top here is an animated video to give you a synopsis of what you are going to be doing for Craig this month. He is our fictitious business owner. Further down is an interactive quiz to test your knowledge as it relates to the video up above. Below that are all of the exercises in this section. And at the bottom is an optional area where after you have completed all of the exercises in this section, we have some sample posts that you are welcome to use on your LinkedIn to share with everybody what you have learned so far. So let's dive right in and see what we're going to do today, where we are going to practice processing the gift cards. So go ahead and click on that link to have the exercise pulled up for you. I have it over here on the right hand side. So let's read through our scenario. Craig has decided to offer $50 gift cards and sold three of them to Rago Travel Agency. Already one of Rago's customers, Oliver Weiss, used one to purchase some pest control services. So how would you set this up in QBO? Let's find out. You will need to be in the sample company to do this exercise. If you are not sure how to get into the sample company or get your own free QBOA account, be sure to click on the link below in the description. I have the sample company pulled up here on the left side of my screen. Once you sign in, this is what it will look like. Um, you will be pulled to or uh, you will have the uh, dashboard pulled up for you. So let's go ahead and get started with the exercise. The first thing you will need to do is set up the gift cards as a product that Craig sells. So let's see how to do this. You will first need to click on the gear icon and then click on products and services. The gear icon is on the top right corner of the sample company. Click on that and then under lists, go ahead and select products and services. Now, once again, we are creating a new product, so we want to click on the green new button, which is right here. And when you get this pop out, it's going to ask what type of product service you are looking to do. This is a product, but is not one that we are tracking. So we want it to be a non inventory product. Go ahead and select that. And now we can go ahead and fill out all of the information. In the name field, we're going to type gift card. So click into that box, go ahead and type gift card. In the description field, we want to type $50 gift card. So click into that box and go ahead and type $50 gift card. And as a note here, whatever you put in this description box is what will show up on your sales forms. So just make sure that whatever you put here is something that you actually want your customers to see on that sales form. In the sale price rate field, we're going to type 50 because these are $50 gift cards. So click into that box, type 50. And note that you will have to create an account that holds the total value of the gift cards. Now, even though you will be entering it in the account or income account field right here, you will need to create it as a liability account. And this is because Craig still owes the work to the customer until the gift card is used. That is what a liability is. It is something that is owed. So in this case, it is work that is owed to the customer until that gift card has been used. So in the income account field, we're going to select plus add new. So click into that, uh, that uh, box right there to get that drop down appearing. You'll have to scroll all the way to the top in order to add it. So once you do, click on plus add new. And this pop out uh, to create a new account for in the chart of accounts will appear for us. Now again, this is a liability. So in the account type field, let's select other current liabilities. That is this one right here. So click on that down arrow and then select other current liabilities. In the detail type field, we're going to do the same thing. Select other current liabilities. So click the down arrow and then select other current liabilities. 
In the name field, let's type and uh, call this gift card liability. So let's uh, delete what is currently there and then type the gift card liability. We're gonna leave everything else as is. So let's just go ahead and click on the green save and close button. And now you can see that is a new account that has been added there. Now QBO recognizes that you are setting up gift cards and knows that they are not taxable until they are redeemed. So we're gonna click on the green confirm button that is right here, it's under the sales tax area. So go ahead and click on confirm. Um, and now we are just going to click on save and close, which is the green button on the bottom right corner. And now that in our non-inventory gift card has been saved. Now, despite the fact that we just confirmed that this is non-taxable, for some reason, this doesn't quote unquote take in the sample company. And so we need to select it once again. This should not happen in a real life scenario, but it's always a good idea to check it before you navigate away from this page. So if we scroll down until we find gift card, here it is here in that taxable column, it is checked off showing that it's currently uh, currently listed as taxable. Let's go ahead on that line and click edit so that we can change that. And you'll get the pop out once again. This time we're going to click on edit sales tax that is right here. And then we are going to select non-taxable. So click on that button so it shows as non-taxable and then click on the green done button. And you will see that it is now showing as non-taxable under sales tax. So we are all good here. Go ahead and click on the green save and close button. And if we scroll back down to where it is, here it is, right here, you will see that check mark, uh, check mark is no longer appearing. So we are all good with this setup. Next, you will need to record the sale of the three gift cards to Rago Travel Agency. This will be, as, uh, will be a simple sales receipt transaction, and we will just assume that they paid with a MasterCard that was deposited directly into Craig's checking accounts. Those details will be important as we fill out that sales receipt. So to create that sales receipt, we're gonna click on the plus new button and then select sales receipt. The plus new button is on, a, is on the top left corner of the screen, click on that, and then under customers, select sales receipt. Now, when it, um, when it pulls up for us, we want to fill it out. So in the customer field, we're going to select Rago Travel Agency. So click into that customer box. You can either scroll or you can start typing in their name. Once you find them, go ahead and select them. You will see their information has appeared for you. We will leave the sales date receipt or sales receipt date as is, but just know in a real life scenario, you want to change this date to whatever the date of the sale is. So uh, keep everything as is, let's move on to the payment method, which in the payment method field, we want to select MasterCard. So click on that down arrow and then select MasterCard. In the deposit to field, we're going to select checking. So uh, click on that down arrow in the deposit to field and select checking. And now let's go ahead and fill out the product service grid. So in the product service field, we're going to select gift card. So you can click into it two times. Um, you can either scroll or you can start typing gift to have gift card appear. And as you can see, that $50 gift card that we put in that description field is showing here in this description field. There were three that were purchased. So in the quantity field, we want to update that to three. So delete one and type in a three. When you hit the tab key over, you will see that QBO has automatically made the calculation of three times 50 equals $150. Now we just need to click on the down arrow next to save and send and select save and close. So that is down here on the bottom right corner of the screen. Click that down arrow, select save and close. And now we have captured the purchase of those three gift cards that Rago Travel Agency had made. Finally, you will need to record the sale of the pest control services to Oliver. In other words, Oliver redeemed his gift card. So you will once again use a sales receipt to record the sale to Oliver. 
So let's click on that plus new button once again and then select sales receipt. The plus new button on the top left corner, click on that and then under customers, select sales receipt. Now Oliver is a new customer for Craig and so we need to add him. So in the customer field, let's go ahead and type his name and then we're going to click on plus add new Oliver Weiss. So click into that box, go ahead and type Oliver Weiss. Make sure I spelled that correctly, Oliver Weiss, yep. And then you will get this plus add new, go ahead and click on that you'll get this customer profile appearing for you. If you had any other information about him, like his email or phone number, you would wanna go ahead and fill that out here. But since we don't, we're just going to click on the green save button. So go ahead and do that. We're going to leave that sales receipt date as is for the purposes of this exercise, but of course, in a real life scenario, you want to make sure that you are uh, using the correct date of the sale here in this box. So let's fill out this bottom section here. So in the product service field on the first line, we're going to select test control. So click into it two times, you can start typing or you can scroll and find it. Once you do, go ahead and select it. Um, and then all the information is going to populate for us. So on the second line in the product services field, we're going to select gift card. So click into that box two times. Once again, you can start typing gift for gift card. Once you find it, go ahead and click on it. You will see all of the information appear to you or for you. But this time we need to make a little bit of an adjustment because we need to apply the gift card. So in order to do that, we need to enter a negative amount. So in the amount field on the second line, we're going to type negative 35. So click into the rate field, delete that 50 and type negative 35. When you click out of it, you will see now it's showing a zero. So we're going to save and close. That is the green button down here on the bottom right corner. So click on that. And the sales receipt for Oliver has been showed. Now you will notice that the negative balance accomplishes two things. First of all, it reduces the amount of the sales receipt. In this case, pest control services is only $35. And so Craig got his entire service paid for. And then second, it reduces the amount in the gift cards liability account. So there is less that Craig now owes. So how do you know how much Craig has on his gift card to apply to the sale? And how does Oliver know how much he has left to spend? So here in these final thoughts, you will likely notice that there are several things missing from this scenario. So how do you know how much is on Oliver's gift card? After all, you sold it to Rago, not to Oliver. And that's pretty typical because you don't usually buy gift cards for yourself. And how does Oliver know how much he has left to spend? When you use a gift card, you typically see on the receipt how much is left, but that's not available on this receipt. So at any time, you can use a balance sheet report, which you would get to by on the left navigation bar, click on reports, you would click on balance sheets, and then you could see how much is in the gift card liability um, to in total, but that doesn't tell you how much is on an individual gift card. So let me just show you where that is. Here, down here, you have to scroll down to the liabilities and equity area. It is under, under other current liabilities. There is that gift card liability and it would show right there. Um, now, then that's at $115 because it was $150, $35 of that gift card was spent. So he, Craig now owes that $115 based on the three gift cards that he had sold. Um, if 150 minus 35 is that 115. So QBO just simply doesn't track at this level of detail of how much is on each individual card. So rather, this is a perfect time to use a third party app that would integrate with QBO. So you would want to talk to your client about their plans and then just figure out what their needs are going forward to see if this would be the best solution. And that's how you set up gift cards and how they would be used. Now, if you have any questions or you want to know more about the QBO gym, just be sure to click on that link below in the description. We move through the warm up section with our next exercise where we practice receiving payments. And I will see you in the next.